Over the past couple of weeks in Sport on One, we've brought you some exciting action from the world of professional wrestling. Well, today should be no exception. The match is between Larry O'Day of Australia and Chief Mark Youngblood of the United States. Our commentators are Barry Holland and Steve Ricard. In the blue corner, from Australia, weighing in at 250 pounds, Larry O'Day. And his opponent, in the red corner, from the USA, weighing in at 275 pounds, Chief Mark Youngblood. The referee, Mr. Dennis Bellamy. There's the bell. We've got the ingredients here for a mighty exciting match between Chief Mark Youngblood and Larry O'Day. Youngblood, USA, Larry O'Day, Australia. Locked. Side headlock applied by O'Day right from the outset of the match. Mark Youngblood and Larry O'Day, both very experienced wrestlers. Oh, well, Youngblood comes with a great reputation from the USA and Larry O'Day we've seen many times before here in New Zealand. We know what a great wrestler he is. Again, you have Mark Youngblood out here uh, looking towards a, a world title match. He is a possible uh, challenger to come against a world title match uh, with Ric Flair. And Ric Flair comes to this country. Now, uh, Mark Youngblood with uh, absolute sheer strength forcing his way out of this hole. Uh, reverses the wrist lock, takes uh, a day to canvas and does a beautiful leg drop across the tricep or bicep of Larry O'Day. That's what the crowd's come to see. Youngblood bristling now after that one on Larry O'Day. Back at the referee that reached hold and Youngblood switches straight into a, an arm bar, bringing the, uh, his hand down across the shoulder of O'Day. Eyes whipped him to canvas and uh, now sitting back and applying pressure. Very handsome young wrestler, Mark Youngblood, 26 years of age. The crowd's really taken to him, or very quickly taken to him. Yeah, almost what we call instant uh, success, Barry, but I mean, you, we all realise his vast experience, of course, and, and appreciate it. But uh, they certainly have uh, taken to him as one of their own right off. And Larry O'Day forces his way uh, to his feet because Larry O'Day, that, uh, as we all know, a cutting wrestler, likes to turn change the tactics at any time nice way look at that leap oh what a beautiful move what a beautiful move there as mark youngblood leap across across the top of larry o'day and i'm dragging the canvas <laughs> i think o'day thought he was going to come out of top of that one quickly to his feet ready for a uh, young blood or so he thought Young blood sitting back and holding on to that arm and uh, but his knee into the shoulder under the arm with high pressure Fine young wrestler. Referee Dennis Bellamy asking Larry O'Day if he wants to give up. Yes, O'Day with a nervous giggle on the canvas now, but he's working on some sort of encounter, some sort of counter on the young blood. But young blood still applying pressure. Still applying pressure in this hand. O'Day throws him into it. Shoulder smash he comes out for. But O'Day waiting with the big knee and uh, knocks, uh, knocks Mark Youngblood to campus. Referee telling O'Day to break on the ropes. Good, uh, good match. A very good, solid, solid match. A day in there, put, forcing pressure into the back of the neck of Youngblood. The bottom rope, swiftly orders the break. A day dragging Youngblood off, and he throws a heavy forearm to the chest. Well, a great start by Youngblood, but uh, a day seizing the initiative and really making the most of it here. Well, you can hear those nervous giggles coming from, from both sides now as, as they feel this pressure going on. What a great heavyweight match between Larry O'Day and Chief Mark Youngblood. And then a forward headlock applied. Referee and underneath. Looking to see that the hold is not illegal, a strangle. O'Day 
Oh, oh, look at this, look at this, Cameron Wood. Are they trying to find for suplex? Oh, beautiful reverse suplex. A beautiful reverse suplex by Mark Youngblood. Uh, Larry O'Day tried for the suplex. Youngblood blocked it, and then he lifted O'Day up. Suplex him, and Larry O'Day comes up. Youngblood drop kicks. Now, totally unexpected to see a reverse suplex from Chief Mark Youngblood. That was great stuff. And... Uh, no, almost a count of three as Mark Youngblood somersault salts across the top of her day looking for that pin four, four. Well, despite all that, her day still got a little fight in the Five minute call, five minute call. Larry O'Day is driving ahead of Mark Youngblood in the corner. Takes him over in a forward headlock. <laughs> and over the top of him. Count of one, the referee says. Mark Youngblood uh, in trouble. A day proving his worth at all times. A wrestler you can never take opportunities or chances with. We're certainly seeing that, Steve. But these two will know they've been in a wrestling match at the end of this one. Tight, uh, tight headlock there. Tight head or face bar, actually, applied by Larry O'Day. You can see the uh, grimace on uh, Mark Bugdung's face. And now O'Day uh, converts the hold to a head scissors. Head scissors applied by Larry O'Day. Well, I think the Mark Blood fans will be wondering just how he's going to get out of this and hoping that soon he will and uh, get on top of Larry O'Day. Uh, young Blood looking for a bridge, trying for a bridge, and O'Day hits him in the stomach, knocking him back to canvas. Mark Blundard should turn towards the camera, come to his knees, would be of assistance to him. He could push himself to his knees and then to his feet in this move. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. That's exactly what Mark Youngblood is doing. We can get on balance now, he's got to get across. But he's, what he's done, he's put the weight on top of Larry O'Day's uh, forelegs on the, on, on the weight of his shins, and he's trying to force his head out. You can see the weight going down, and Youngblood is succeeding, forcing his head out, and... and Beautiful as Bones and that's it header and the head scissors again by Larry O'Day. Oh, well, back to square one. Larry O'Day proving he's not only rough and rugged, but also a scientific wrestler. Mark Youngblood still in trouble, still in trouble. Will again try for that turn, I think. Twist around. Now, Larry O'Day's a bit of a wrestler. They love to hate here, uh, New Zealand audiences, but they certainly overall like to see him in action because he certainly can wrestle. We're seeing here against his very experienced chief, Mark Youngblood. Now, he's done it again, Steve. He's again, he's again got that knee onto the shins of O'Day and bang his head up. Goes back, tucks the headlock again. O'Day, obviously, a uh, musician for the head scissors, but puts his foot across the top rope, knowing the referee will have to call for a break, and he does and O'Day gains the advantage. Oh. Yes, O'Day gains the advantage again. He doesn't lose it for long. He's uh, really been applying a lot of pressure these last few minutes to Chief Mark Youngblood. O'Day is the first uh, fist to the face and now the uh, foot into the neck and the referee telling Larry O'Day to come out of the corner, calling for a break. One, two, three. Count of two in the corner, and the referee right on the ball. He must break by the count of five. And of course, the rules allow you to take the legal hold again, unfortunately. But the, the rules say that uh, the referee's count, you must break by count of five, or the referee will disqualify you. Now, there, O'Day catapults Mark Youngblood by using the rope uh, under the neck and chin and pulling him back on the rope. Youngblood in a lot of trouble, and O'Day just boring it on top of him all the time. Well, this is an interesting stage in the match, Steve. I didn't think we expected to see Chief Mark Youngblood in a state like this. Oh, what a beautiful move there. He hits, he chops O'Day out of the corner, driving O'Day back. Driving, and he comes down with a heavy Indian chop to the top of the head of Larry O'Day. One to the stomach. Youngblood coming back into the match. Looks up, he's leading from the nose. Larry O'Day hits the canvas. Crowd going wild. The crowd going wild now. Jay Young, Mark Youngblood comes back into this match. What a great comeback by Mark Youngblood. O'Day pleading. Well, I think Mark Youngblood is also bleeding from the nose, and he springs that heavy 
fist or chop into the side of the neck of Larry O'Day. And another one comes down on the chin. Larry O'Day, obviously groggy in the corner. Mark Youngman catapults him at fostering into the turnbuckle. A nice catapult. You can see the blood coming from the nose of Mark Bl Youngblood. And another one, but O'Day reverses it. Mark Youngblood goes up on the top, looks in there for a special fix, and comes across the first one. Count of three. A count of three. The referee awards the match to Mark Youngblood by a fall, and the match is all over with Mark Youngblood the winner. A lot of pressure.